to uh, run an activity called The Rock. That, it's called that in person. Um, <laughs> it's going to be called virtually, we're going to call it You Rock. And this is the way that it's going to work. And it's going to have the, it's going to play a little bit with uh, some of the mindsets that we just um, saw. We've never done this before. This is brand new. We'll see how it goes. So in person, if we were all sitting in a, or standing in a circle, the way that I would facilitate this is I would walk around the outside of the circle. I would ask everybody to look down or cover their eyes and hold a hand behind their back. And I would walk around the outside of the circle and I would place an actual rock in one of your hands behind your back. And then I would ask everybody to open up their eyes, hold both their hands in front of them. And the goal of the game is to guess who is holding the rock by being extremely observant of nonverbals, who's giving you some cues, what's going on here. Guess who has the rock. If you guess incorrectly, you are out. And in this virtual context, the way that we're going to invite you to be out is to either uh, step way off to the side of your camera or way to the back of your camera, somewhere that uh, is obviously not right here engaged and participating. So you might have guessed I can't hand you a rock in person. So the reason this is called You Rock virtually is I'm going to privately chat one of you and I'm just going to say You Rock. All right. And I'll tell you, I won't tell you exactly when I'll do it, um, but guessing will begin in 15 seconds. All right. So one of you, oh, Will, you got something? Yeah, just for clarity, you're going to get a message. It's going to say You Rock, or you're not going to get a message. Either way, your job is to figure out who's got the message you rock. Whether or not you got it or not, your job is looking around. If you did get the message you rock, you're not trying to get guests. So you're like, oh, I got the message. <laughs> you're trying to make it so people have to use their ability to look to see who might have the rock. All right. So again, the goal is to guess the correct person. If you guess the incorrect person, you are out and inviting you to step off screen or behind screen somewhere. And guessing can begin now. I'm going to guess uh, Michelle. Michelle, do you have the rock? Oh. No, I think it's Doug. I think it's Linda. Oh. Well, <laughs> it's not me. I thought it was Doug. Wait, so Linda just guessed Doug. Doug, do you, do you rock? I do rock. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Linda, I'm so curious. What cued you into Doug? That was really early. That was a second guess. I was watching ex ex um, facial expressions, and he did this little smile on his face. And while all, all of us were looking down and realizing we didn't rock, he just had this nice little smile. <laughs> <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely. <clears throat> Well, let's do let, because that was the second guess. Let's do let's do one more quick round, and uh, Will and I blocked off a bit of time after. I know that we said we wanted to do uh, open. If you've got questions, etc. So we'll do one more quick round, two minutes, and then we'll shift into um, open questions if you got them, or we can unpack this a little bit. Guessing can begin right about now. <laughs> All right, I'll be brave again. <laughs> I'm going to pick Michelle. Ooh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I love your refrigerator. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> now, I think it's Bonnie. No. Oh. Okay. I think it's Joshua. 
How about Mary? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> uh. Corinne. Who's left? So if, if you. Oh. Corinne. Ah. Yep. Corinne, do you rock? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's going on? Look at Chad's face right now. What Chad doesn't know is that I privately messaged her and said that she rocks. And so Chad's confused about, wait a minute, that's not the person I rock. Wait, who did you privately message, Will? Corinne. I privately messaged Corinne. Oh, wow. <laughs> Corinne, that's a sign that the, the island has voted. You do, in fact, rock. Yeah. Yeah. I'm apparently off. Yeah. I thought we would have two of them going on. And as we got less and less, I thought, what are the chances that that's the case? <laughs> <laughs> that's really great. Oh, lovely. <laughs> so Gretchen, what um, inspired you to choose Corinne? She wasn't moving. <laughs> like we all were like, oh, somebody picked and you saw everybody's eyes going around and she was steady. She was oh. steady. Steady Corinne. So. Like a rock, right? <laughs> All right. So now we're down to our last five minutes. So I'd love really quickly, just as a way, there's, there's lots of ways that um, this activity we have built into a leadership lab curriculum for the module around need to be right and openness. So that's it. There are lots of ways that you could debrief and unpack this. I'm going to just kick out um, one question. Rewinding the tape, the point of doing any experience virtually, in addition to just engaging and waking us up and doing something different on Zoom that we're not typically used to doing on Zoom, um, is to learn from experience. And so to rewind the tape for a minute, I'm curious, uh, what could we take from this exercise? What could we glean from this exercise? And a, a better question, what are you taking or gleaning from this exercise? And you can, I just want to popcorn out one, two, maybe three answers, and then we'll shift gears. Linda is a risk taker. <laughs> is a risk because taker. She, was, she was willing to make a guess and I kept, I was holding back. And so it, for me, when we got into this, I, I realized, you know, maybe I'm, I, I've got too much need to know and need to be right going on. Mm. I love that you're saying that, Bonnie, right? And what was at stake, right? If you failed, what was at stake? But for you- My pride. <laughs> right. And so the currency of your pride is something to recognize that gets in the way of your me and we mindset. And so now you got a label on it and you can do some exploring around that. Let's do one other. Josh, you figure out how to virtually raise your hand. So you got something? <laughs> I, I just, I mean, for me, like, uh, I just immediately went into dodgeball mindset. Like when you laid the ground rules, I was thinking, okay, so the name of the game is just survive. So I just started thinking like, all right, I just, if I don't guess, then I'm still in it. So my mind was like dodgeball. This is just dodgeball. So that, that's where my mind went to. But you could have rocked and then guessed that somebody else was the rock, and then you would have been out, but you would still been a rock. Ooh, that would have blew up the see, whole game. Linda, see, Linda, that's the way I play Clue. That's why no one will play Clue with me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely. So uh, you can see simple, simple uh, exercise, right? But all of a sudden, all of this discussion is uh, is sparked uh, from it. So I'm going to pause there. We